Good morning, Chodesh Tova, Good Chodesh. Welcome to Kehillah Shari Torah's daily review of the laws and customs of Purim for Friday, March 4th. Today is the second day of Rosh Chodesh Adar Sheni. Uh, today is day one of Adar Sheni, second Adar, so let's live it up. Uh, we were speaking yesterday, began speaking yesterday about Matanos Levyonim, the gift uh, mitzvah on Purim of gifts to the needy. Matanot Levyonim. Women are required to fulfill the mitzvah of Matanos Levyonim because women were also spared, their lives were spared, just like everybody else, through the miracle of Purim. There are different views as to how a married woman fulfills this mitzvah. Some say that uh, since uh, uh, there's joint uh, community property there, uh, when the husband gives matanos sevyonim on behalf of his wife, the recipient ha- should uh, have in mind that it's coming from both. Others say it's sufficient for the husband to uh, verbalize to his wife and the recipient that they're giving on behalf of both. Everyone's required to give this uh, to give matanos sevyonim, even a poor person. So we, who uh, thankfully are on the giving end of this, uh, rather than on the receiving, should make sure to make sure that they uh, make, ensure that they have enough money to uh, give to others, so everyone can feel like a giver on this day. Uh, it's permissible for a man to give matanos of yonim to a woman, and vice versa. The basic requirement of matanos of yonim is to give two presents to poor, two poor people, one present to each. Uh, there's a, different opinions about uh, about uh, the minimum value, what the uh, uh, value of the tzedakah should be. Reb Moshe Feinstein uh, maintained that giving enough money to buy a roll and a cup of coffee is sufficient. So in Toronto today, was that 25, 28 bucks, something like that? Uh, uh, you can't go overboard here. So uh, uh, really, uh, this is a mitzvah to be mahadr in. The uh, mitzvah of Matanos of Yonah can be fulfilled by donating either actual food or enough money for the person to buy food for Purim. Donating clothes or other gifts does not fulfill the mitzvah. Additionally, if you forgive a loan that a poor person owes, that's not considered fulfilling the mitzvah. Uh, if you, you want to use a check, you should only do that uh, if the bank is open, the person can actually cash the check that day. Don't go using uh, post-dated checks. We know those tricks. Okay, we'll leave it uh, up to here for now. Uh, I don't have the candle lighting times yet, but I bet I could find them if you give me just a second. Tonight, let's see, earliest candle lighting in the Kihil, the Holy Kihila of Toronto, should be, hold on, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, just a second. Ah, here we go. Candle lighting this evening. Uh, 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 5.52, 5.52 p.m., 8 minutes to 6 would be the proper time to light candles and usher in the Holy Sabbath. Uh, I believe we will not be uh, having a minion for Friday night quite yet, but that day is coming closer. Uh, were we together, it would be at 5.55. Five minutes to 6 would be the time for Mincha and Kabbalat Shabbat. Uh, tomorrow, exciting news. Uh, Shachar is, it will be at 10 o'clock uh, for those who have registered, so please do register. Uh, I believe at press time, the plan is to have not both a Kiddush to go, but the option to stay with your Kiddush to go. That's right, you can, uh, we will have... Uh, hopefully uh, uh, at least some uh, uh, additional refreshments downstairs in the Davidson Social Hall. So for those who would like to uh, uh, bring your kiddush to go downstairs and enjoy it in the company of your KST friends, first time in a long time and f- long overdue in uh, the feeling of many of us, we'll be able to do that. Uh, we'll be a, an in-person kiddush tomorrow for everyone who feels comfortable doing that. I believe there will be a checkbox to indicate uh, uh, your interest in uh, participating so we can make sure to have uh, um, enough seating for everybody, enough uh, spaced out seating, spaced out seating, enough uh, s- uh, physically distant seating. You don't have to be spaced out to come, but it couldn't hurt. Anyway, tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, uh, right, Motzei Shabbos, 6.55 is the time for the conclusion of the Sabbath, uh, and uh, 7.05 will be our Zoom Havdalah, so we look forward to uh, seeing everyone on that. Have a wonderful Shabbos. Chodesh Tov, Guten Chodesh. Mishinichnas Adar Marbim Besimcha. Don't forget, when Adar enters, we turn up the joy dial. So this is it. Have a great day, a great month, and a great Shabbat.